This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Our weather continues to be very nice. Clear and cool again for tonight. Tomorrow looks good. Mostly sunny skies out there. We will see the slightest chance of getting a spot shower across eastern New Mexico, but that's not going to be a real big deal, and most areas won't be affected at all. Looks great through Friday. Heading into the weekend, though, a storm system curls to the north, and the winds crank up. Former PRC Commissioner Jerome Block Jr. was back before a judge today trying to get out of a possible four and a half year prison sentence. Block was convicted last year of six felonies, including misusing his state issued gas card and pocketing campaign cash while he was running for office. He admitted he is a prescription drug addict and he was given a chance to avoid prison if he completed the drug court program. But after several violations, he was kicked out and the judge sent him to prison for a 60 day evaluation. Today, Judge Michael V. Hill said he thinks the two months in prison got Block's attention, so he is putting him back on intensive supervision probation with a warning that he'll be back in prison for the full four if he messes up again. Another high prof profile suspect was also in court today. Scott Owens pled not guilty to aggravated DWI. In 2009, Owens drove drunk and was in this head on crash that killed four teens in Santa Fe. He was not charged with DWI in that case because prosecutors chose instead to go after him for vehicular homicide. But the jury acquitted him because they didn't feel that Owens was entirely responsible for the crash. In this latest case, he was pulled over on St. Patrick's Day, failed a field sobriety test, and refused a breath or blood test. Owens does have a DWI conviction from 2001. He's now free on bond, but he has to wear an electronic monitoring device. Join us for all the news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.